Shalom Alechem, blessed souls. This is Dharma Talk. And as I've mentioned in other videos, to understand the meaning of Shalom, which means peace, hello, and even goodbye, please go to Sefer Shoftim, the Book of Judges, Perik Vov, Chapter 6, Psukim, Chav Gimel, and Chav Dalet, verses 23 and 24. Before we get into the fourth portion of Abraham's shield, I'd like to read for you a prophecy from Novi Yeshiau, the prophet Isaiah. Ho, everyone who is thirsty, go to the water, even one with no money. Go, buy and eat. Go and buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you weigh out money without getting bread and exert your efforts for that which does not satisfy? Listen well to me, says the Most High, and you will eat well and your soul will be delight in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, meaning the Most High. Listen, and your soul, your neshama, will be rejuvenated. So now we're in the fourth section of Abraham's shield, the teaching of uh, Yitzhak Ginsburg. And um, I want to point out, blessed souls, that this, what I'm reading, and sometimes paraphrasing, is done without any infringement of copyright and I should be printing uh, or annotating on this video where you can go to learn more of the Torah of Rav Ginsburg to further immerse and rejuvenate your soul the living words of the inner dimension of Torah so f following from the last uh, conversation that we had blessed souls concerning the sons of Abraham remember we had a Roman senator who nullified a decree that the Roman Senate had decreed upon the Jewish people, the Yehudim of that time, after the destruction of the Second Temple. That, in fact, before he died, he actually converted and had a bris milah circumcision, and his wife, who was being comforted by the sages of those days, showed them that he, in fact, had converted secretly. It, the rabbis who were involved in his conversion did not are not identified here, but they accepted what she presented to him, meaning the proof, the bloody uh, rags which contained his foreskin. Going on further, blessed souls, clearly the righteousness, his righteousness of that Roman center who eventually became Yehudi, stems from that of Abraham. Now, Ginsburg asserts, he is a spiritual son of Abraham. And Abraham in Hebrew means Avraham, where he, and Avraham, as we mentioned I think in a previous video, alludes to the understanding as Genesis 17.5 discusses his name implies the father of many nations. The great spiritual power that he manifested derives from the potential in the soul of Abraham the first Jew. That needs to be elucidated as well because many people ask a question or make an assertion what is a Jew or what they think a Jew is. The Jew blessed souls, according to the oral tradition of Israel that we know, respect, honor, and promote, and teach to the rest of the world, is someone who denies publicly idolatry, any forms of worship of anything other than the Most High. Yet for all the potential that Abraham's souls had, of Ginsburg asserts, the sages explain that the power of the Son is greater than that of the Father. And that you can look up uh, blessed souls in the the oral tradition, which is a Talmudic teaching in Shavuot, in Daf page 48, Amr Aleph, the first page. Each page of, of Talmud has two sides, a, say, a side A and a side B. Way before there was a side A and side B on a Chinese menu. So with that being said, blessed souls, meaning that the greater power of the Son derives from the potential in the Father, and the Son can actualize something the Father never had a chance to fulfill. But not only is the Roman senator in this story similar to Abraham, he also had the same type of relationship with his wife as Abraham, Abraham did with his wife, Sarah. In respect to Abraham's, Abraham's relationship with Sarah, read that the Almost High told Abraham, all that Sarah tells you, hearken to her voice. And you can see that in Genesis 21, 12, blessed souls. From this statement, the sages learn that Sarah, Imeno, Sarah, our mother, possessed a greater degree of prophetic inspiration 
than Abraham. And that you can see blessed souls in Tanchuma Shmot 1. Likewise, the Roman servant's wife is described as even more righteous than her husband. And like Abraham, the Roman senator follows his wife's advice. From this we may infer, of Ginsburg continues, that the righteous couple of our story, who so clearly reflect and even exceeded the virtues of the first Jewish couple, meaning again, in the sense that they publicly denied idolatry, Abraham and Sarah are indeed a reincarnation of Abraham and Sarah. The two return in our world once more in order to reach an even higher level than they had in their first incarnation. So we're talking about man and woman, spiritual descendants, who nurtured from an aspect of their souls, and that's considered as part of this incarnation or reincarnation process. This is the greatest of all lessons for every righteous Gentile. A good tzedek. Every righteous Gentile has the opportunity to truly dedicate his or her life to the service of the God of Abraham, which is the creator of the universe, the Ein Sof Baruch Hu. This means doing all in his or her power and and to, to aid in filling the objective which the Almighty chose His people, Israel, universal redemption, with the coming of Mashiach, Messiah. By doing so, every righteous Gentile, Goy Tzedek, can reach a level even higher than that of Abraham himself, blessed souls. Each one can actually actualize a part of the infinite potential of Abraham's soul. There's more to talk about. I'm sure, blessed souls, you're asking, what is this concept of reincarnation? Some people accept it, people don't accept it. Maybe in future videos outside of this, I have to look to see what Rav Ginsburg says about that. There are other sources I can turn to. I also have a, in my possession the Sefer Gugulim, the Book of Reincarnations. Uh, some branches, some scholars don't buy hold of it in Israel, but many do. Anyway, blessed souls, we'll conclude on this month that we still haven't finished. There's still another uh, small section to Rav Ginsburg's Torah, which hopefully we'll do in the fourth, uh, excuse me, the fifth section of Abraham's Shield. In the meantime, this is Dhamma Talk. From Irie Eitz Karn Heights, wishing everyone a beautiful day, Badarchi Nom, Badarchi Nom, in a pleasant and peaceful way. Sababa, of course, we gotta rejoice, not just ourselves, but the rest of the world. The love you project is the love you shall receive, and the love you avoid is the love you shall not have intended towards, uh, excuse me, the hatred that you don't intend on someone else is the hatred you won't experience in your life. Gorel Achad, one destiny, but Bore Achad, Sababa.